We turn now to the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. While you were sleeping, passengers on board a cruise ship that was held off the shore over coronavirus concerns, they were finally allowed to leave. Now, this came as the Florida Department of Health confirmed another case of the coronavirus in Broward County. That patient, a 67-year-old man currently in isolation, and this brings the total of confirmed and presumptive positive cases in Florida up to 18. CBS 4's Real Creighton kicks off our team coverage live from Port Everglades. Real. Well, Carly and Mary Bell, you can see the Regal Princess here is docked here this morning after it was forced to spend hours adrift at sea yesterday. It was pending the test results. Ultimately, two of its crew members tested negative for the coronavirus. Regal Princess that can fit roughly 3,500 people made its way back to Port Everglades Sunday night. This happened after drifting off South Florida's coast for hours during the end of its seven-day cruise. Life is good. We see people walking around with suitcases. We're getting out tonight. We don't know exactly the time, but we're very happy. Everyone's happy. Over FaceTime, Alexis Vanderley talked to us after learning she can go home. Passengers were originally scheduled to dock Sunday morning. It's estimated to say between three and four hours to complete those tests. The CDC and the U.S. Coast Guard issued a no sale order until two crew members were tested for the coronavirus. Yep, there's a the cooker. I'm going to get the samples. <laughs> Guardsmen delivered the test kit Sunday morning, and by dinner time, after the captain's announcement. He didn't mention anything about the test results, which is fine with me as long as I can get home. Princess Cruises says the two crew members were previously on Grand Princess more than two weeks ago. That ship is currently off the coast of California since 19 crew members and two passengers tested positive for the virus. I think it's very imperative to get off this ship and, uh, and get off the Petri dish, if you will, and, and try and get home. Davy resident Michael Kalman is stuck on the ship near San Francisco. He and his wife are on board to celebrate his retirement from the Broward Sheriff's Office. This was my retirement cruise, <laughs> some retirement cruise. So it's been the cruise from hell, I'll be honest. With you. He has been isolated in his room, and when the ship docks, he says he'll be isolated somewhere else. Sunday, the U.S. State Department urged people, especially those with health issues, to avoid traveling on cruises during the outbreak. They say the virus can easily spread on ships. Vanderlee says she'll hold off on planning her next cruise. I won't plan my next cruise while there's an outbreak of disease going on, but I do like the cruise. The new warning came after Vice President Mike Pence visited Port Everglades Saturday. To further enhance entry and exit screening. He announced new plans for the cruise lines, like having testing kits on the ships and new quarantine standards. As for the Regal Princess, a spokesperson for the cruise line says crew members in question didn't show any symptoms of the virus, and they're well beyond the 14-day incubation period for the illness. Originally, travelers were told it'll be Monday or Tuesday until officials had results, but the no-sale order was lifted sooner so thousands can be back on land. And passengers allowed to disembark yesterday. Regal Princess was scheduled to leave with a different set of travelers last night, but that trip has now since been canceled. We're live in Port Everglades, Riel Creighton, CBS4 this morning.